good morning students so welcome to a new gs class so in this class we are going to study about a new chapter that is things we get from nature so in this chapter we'll be mainly studying about many things that we get from nature then we get from plants animals etc okay so let's start so first of all we are going to study about the things we get from plants and animals yes so have you heard about some things that we get from plants and animals yes wool isn't it wool then fibers that is cotton then rubber yes uh, all these things are some examples okay so we'll go in detail so first one is timber you can see timber in the picture can you see that timber yes so it's like cut down trees isn't it yes so timber is obtained from trees like teak okay teak is a tree so timber is obtained from trees like teak and it is really hard it is strong and for what purpose do we use this timber do you know yes it is used to make furnitures chairs tables desk etc okay the next is rubber so rubber it's a liquid right you can see a white colored liquid there so have you seen rubber trees uh, rubber is obtained from trees and for what purpose do we use this rubber uh, to prepare tires isn't it Tyke tires on vehicles yes to prepare those tires then for you uh, using any racers to prepare erasers all these things we use rubber then the next is bamboo and pine wood okay so you can see the picture of bamboo there uh, that, that's called as bamboo it is really soft okay it is really soft bamboo and pine wood is soft not like other trees not like other trees it is soft and this bamboo and pine wood it can be made into a watery like substance okay a watery like substance like a liquid and this is used to make paper the paper we write the paper in the notebooks the paper in the textbook okay so this paper is so this paper is prepared from the bamboo and pine wood okay the next is fibers fibers like cotton jute flax everything is there many fibers are there okay so only one the picture of only one fiber is shown that is cotton it looked like clouds isn't it yes white in color that's why it look it looks like cloud okay so cotton fibers so cotton fibers are produced from cotton plants and for what purpose do we use this cotton fibers uh, it is used to make clothes isn't it clothes your dresses cotton dresses are there for you yes uh, so to prepare these clothes you use cotton fibers then jute fibers are there jute fibers we get jute fibers from jute plant and it is used to make bags shoes um sorry bags ropes etc okay then next is fibers from flax plant okay so fibers from flax plant that is used to make linen cloth have you heard about linen cloth ah it will be there with your parents okay your father will be having a linen shirt so that is called as so for preparing this linen cloth we use this fibers from flax plant okay the next is leather so you have seen leather isn't it as i know you have seen leather it will be there it is used to prepare bags shoes jackets yes have you seen that leather jackets and all <clears throat> so do you know this leather it is obtained from the skin of animals it's really bad isn't it to kill all those animals and to take to take the skin from them no uh, yes so leather is prepared from the skin of animals then the next is wool so where do we get wool from uh, we get wool from sheep isn't it yes we get wool from sheep and for what do we use this wool we use wool to prepare warm clothes the clothes we use in winter 
isn't it mufflers sweaters yes yes to prepare woolen clothes we use wool okay so these are the six things that we get from nature many are there but six we are going to we are we have discussed okay so yes timber rubber bamboo fiber leather and wool okay so next we are going to study about the things we get from earth so rocks first of all the things we get from earth is rocks okay not only rocks many are there but now we'll study about rocks okay so rocks so you can see like beautiful rocks here isn't it white in color blue in color green in color so what are these things these are called as gemstones okay gemstones gemstones where do we use these gemstones it is used to make jewelry okay so gemstones are used to make jewelry and it is really costly okay really costly yes so the first gemstone that we are going to discuss is diamond you can see a white colored gemstone there isn't it yes that is called as diamond and diamond is white in color and it is obtained from rocks next is sapphire blue in color sapphire so sapphire is also um, i mean we get sapphire from rocks and the green colored one is emerald then one more thing is there that is called as ruby okay is that is red in color yes so all these are gemstones then see the fourth picture you are really familiar with this fourth picture what is it yes it's chalk isn't it yes many colored chalks are there okay so is soft a rock yes chalk is also a rock okay it's a soft rock it is really breakable isn't it when we put it down it will break uh, it is a soft rock so chalk is a soft rock the next is granite the first picture in this slide is granite so have you seen granite yes isn't it ah uh, it will be there you will be making buildings with them okay your houses then all these hospitals every building so granite is used to make buildings then see the next picture what is that marble okay marble you, that also i think you have seen that's marble it will be there in many colors okay not only white it will be there in black then pink all these colors it will be there present in all these colors okay so marble marble is also used to make buildings <coughs> then the next picture is metal metal is metal we get we get rocks and we get metals from rocks okay yes so many metals are there like aluminium iron copper steel bronze brass like that many metals are there okay gold silver that is also a type of metal okay so for what purpose do we use this, all these metals metals are used to make vessels isn't it utensils utensils then bodies of vehicles engines of vehicles yes uh, electrical items big big machines wires like that many things are made using this wet metals okay now gold silver silver all these things are used to make jewelry okay so these are the main things about rocks the next is soil so where, from where do we get the soil ah oh, we get soil from rocks okay this rocks they break down then and they become become like small small pieces they are broken down into small small pieces and after many years this becomes soil okay yes so in this chapter we are going to study about three types of soil okay so let's see the first one that is called as clay soil have you heard about clay soil have you heard about clay ah you use that to make things isn't it yes ah yes okay 
so using clay you can make pots okay pots can be made yes so, so clay soil is soft it is soft and can be molded easily molded easily means it can be made into any shape okay yes so clay soil is soft and it can be molded into molded easily okay and the plants they can't grow in this clay soil okay plants can't grow in this clay soil you can make clay soil to make pots okay have you seen potters doing that uh, yes so clay soil is used to make pots and the next type of soil is called as sandy soil i think you have seen this sandy soil isn't it where have you seen in beaches isn't it ah in beaches you have seen this sandy soil so it is very loose isn't it if you keep your feet it will go down yes so sandy soil is really loose okay do plants grow in this sandy soil very few isn't it you, in the beach itself you can see very few plants so that means that sandy soil does not grow many plants and only flu, few plants can grow in sandy soil okay the next is loamy soil loamy soil has both sand and clay okay a mixture of both sand and clay is loamy soil and plants grow well in loamy soil and this loamy soil has a thing called as humus have you heard about humus humus means rotted dead and decayed plants and animals that is called as humus okay dead decayed rotted plants and animals are called as humus and this loamy soil contains humus in them and this humus makes the soil very fertile okay very fertile means all the plants trees everything grow in this soil really good okay very nicely it can grow yes so this is about soil so we have studied about three types of soil that is clay soil sandy soil and loamy soil okay next we are going to study about fuel what is fuel have you heard about fuel ah petrol first of all yes petrol diesel then all kerosene okay all these things are fuels not only this many things are there let's study so the first picture that you can see is that black colored small hmm? that is not rock okay that is called as coal coal is a fuel so from where do we obtain this coal it is obtained from earth okay deep inside the earth and for why do we use this coal what is the purpose of coal it is used to cook okay it can be burned this coal can be burned and it is used for all these heating purposes okay yes heating houses then when it's so cold we can heat houses okay so coal is used there then cooking for cooking coal is used for cooking then for running machines you know ships trains and all in olden days they used this coal to run okay then to make electricity also you can use coals okay the next picture shows so next we are going to discuss about petrol i can see petrol in this picture isn't it not only petrol diesel wax all these things are obtained from earth okay so that one substance is there is called as petroleum so you get petroleum from from earth okay petroleum and petrol is different so petroleum is obtained from earth and this petroleum is you can make petrol from this petroleum okay petrol diesel kerosene and wax wax means what candle wax okay this candle wax that is also there all these things they are obtained from petroleum okay so petroleum is by many chemical process many you know, like putting everything in factories using factories and many machines like many, many chemical processes after all these chemical processes you get this petrol diesel wax kerosene etc okay yes so petroleum is obtained from earth and this petroleum is 
treated in factories and used to make petrol, diesel, kerosene and wax. Understood? Okay. Then the next substance you get from petroleum is plastic. <clears throat> you have heard about plastic, isn't it? You know what is called as plastic. You can make bottles using plastic, toys, then what bags, plastic bags, then ropes. Yes, uh, all these things are made from plastic, isn't it? So you get plastic from petroleum. Understood? Yes. So in this chapter, we learned about the things we get from nature, the things we get from animals and plants and the things we get from earth. Yes? Okay. So in animals and plants, we discussed about um, wool, fiber, leather, then rubber, timber, bamboo, etc. Yes? Uh, in And in the things we get from nature, we discussed about rocks, we discussed about soil and we discussed about fuel. Okay, children. Thank you.